There is a woman who is known for her two large hutas, by which I mean owls. All you need to know is that she will smack anyone who tatsu them. So hands off. This is 5 minute kanji, and today we're going to go over another simple kanji, the kanji for two. The onyomi is ni. The kunyomi is futa or futatsu. If you recall from our previous lesson on the kanji for one, the onyomi or Chinese pronunciation is used to count up in Japanese for numbers. However, futatsu, the kunyomi or Japanese pronunciation, is used as a generic counter for objects that don't have a specific counter. For the looks of the kanji, again, it's as simple as the kanji for one. You can think of it as two swords or two fingers. Just remember the two strokes form a slight pyramid. The stroke on top is slightly shorter in length than the one on the bottom. For the reading, there are several ways you can work in the onyomi, ni. We can imagine two needles or a man named Neil that you know, or even two knees. For the kunyomi or Japanese pronunciation, it can be a little tougher. For futa, we have hooter uh, for an owl, nose, or another piece of anatomy. For futatsu, you can use hutatsu, as in who touch, who touched you, or who taught you, or even who has that many tattoos. Let's look at some examples where this kanji is used. For onyomi, we have ni for two. But as I said in the last video, the kanji is rarely written for counting, but can be used in formal documents like awards or uh, legal documents. It, and it will sometimes be written in jukugo or kanji compounds, like uh, nigatsu for February. Although even that will often be written with an Arabic numeral. For kunyomi, a common word is futari, two people. Again here, the kanji for person has an irregular pronunciation for this kanji compound. It's usually read as jin or nin. However, this compound futari and hitori are two uh, of the common words that use this irregular reading. We also have the generic counter futatsu. Like hitotsu, it is used to count objects that don't have a specific counter or that you forgot which counter to use. Of course, you should use a specific counter for objects if it has one, but being able to fall back on these generic counters is quite useful. Like the kanji for one, the kanji for two has an irregular pronunciation for day of the month. We say futsuka and not ninichi for the second day of the month. You'll find this in another useful compound, futsuka yoi, or hungover, literally two days drunk. So, can you remember the story from the beginning? Let's give it a try and yell out the words that are missing. There is a woman who is known for her large fuss, by which I mean owls. All you need to know is that she will smack anyone them. So hands off. Were you perfect? Let's give it another try. There is a woman who is known for her large fuss, by which I mean owls. All you need to know is that she will smack anyone them. So hands off. Can you read these? I'll give you the kanji and please yell out the reading for each word. Futatsu. Ni. Nigatsu. Futari. Futsuka. That's it for the kanji for two. Be sure to visit the courses site to download the kanji practice sheet, which will walk you through how to remember this kanji's reading and help you use it well. 
If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to learn more kanji, hit the subscribe button. Also, be sure to check out my other 5-minute kanji videos.